When I first covered Bishop Sycamore back in 2021, I said that Roy Johnson could rebuild, regroup, and come back. Of course, at that time, I thought he was a well-intentioned, ambitious guy who tried to fast-track success instead of taking his time, being patient, and properly building a foundation. But after watching a BS High documentary, I realized the dude is a narcissistic con artist who unwittingly displayed that to the whole world in the aforementioned infuriating documentary. I didn't think I'd hear from Roy Johnson for for a while. I thought I was done talking about this for the foreseeable future. But as the title suggests, Bishop Sycamore is back at it. It's basically part two of the documentary in the making. The last time Bishop Sycamore took the football field, it was a national embarrassment of epic proportion. Unprepared kids who had just lost the game only two days earlier were thrown to the wolves. A team who had to share helmets and steal their own food played one of the top high school teams in the country. And a bunch of the kids sustained injuries that derailed their careers as they got drug all over the field and beat 58 to nothing. After the documentary exposed all of this, most people assumed BS High had played their last game. But according to a recent story, that might not be the case as they're scheduled to take the field again in just two weeks. All right, bros, real quick here before we jump in, a quick word from today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. Did you know that you really don't need a lot of money to hire a lawyer? And hiring them don't even have to be a long, drawn-out process? Today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan, has modernized the whole thing so you can take care of all your legal issues with only your phone. And you can fully submit a claim in eight clicks or less. There's no need to visit law offices or sit through a consultation. You submit case details, sign contracts, all from your phone. So if you ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks without having to leave your couch. For more information, go to ForThePeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone and then you're good to go. Shout out to Morgan & Morgan once again for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's jump back in. A bunch of people sent me this and I wasn't even gonna cover it because I assumed it was probably just more BS. But the story's actually been picked up by major outlets such as Sports Illustrated, MaxPreps.com, Barstool Sports, and Yahoo Sports. But the original story popped up in the Richmond Times Dispatch who are saying that Bishop Sycamore is set to play a game. So they're set to face off against Life Christians Academy. And if you know the Bishop Sycamore history, you'll know that they too started off as a Christian school with a pretty similar name. Bishop Sycamore was first called Christians of Faith Academy. So if you like me, when you heard the name of the school they was playing, your first thought might have been, bro, did Roy Johnson start another fake school just to schedule himself. I mean, it seemed like the type of cartoon scheme he'd come up with. But no, they seem legit. Here's the schedule of games up to this point. They're 1-7 with a pretty rough point differential. According to the Richmond Times Dispatch, they've been scrutinized in the past for their academic and eligibility standards. In fairness to Bishop Sycamore, that kind of seems to be a trend with these schools. It's like they all either bend or break the rules. And like Bishop Sycamore, LCA also signed up to get drugged by IMG Academy. Some sources are saying they've already forfeited that game, while others are saying that the game actually happens tonight. But we know they did show up to play these other games, so I would think they show up to play a Bishop Sycamore. From a skill level standpoint, a team that's more fitting for them to play against, they might get their second win. LCA is said to have a few legit D1 prospects, including on the D-line, which will probably decide this game. Now, if you're wondering why they sign up to play against a school that's known to be a scam and just dropped a doc about it, when asked about that, Coach David Fitzgerald of Life Christians Academy had this to say. They're looking to rebound and possibly enter into a league we play in. We needed to fill a game and we were presented with the opportunity. We spoke with their coaching staff and felt comfortable that they were legitimately moving in the right direction. We're a Christian school. We believe in second chances and we wanted to make this happen. Then he continues. Bishop Sycamore, they're in a rebuilding process and they basically have worked with a reputable company that matches high school football games up. And it makes sense that they'd be matched because like I was just saying, these are two schools that actually should face off. Assuming that this game is going to actually happen, it makes a whole lot more sense than getting drugged by IMG. Now with the simple announcement that they scheduled a game, Bishop Sycamore has already been kind of doing a victory lap with somebody, presumably Roy Johnson, posting, quote, I told you 
it's on a message board you can't make this up bro but whoever posted it shouldn't speak too fast because prep gridiron logistics seemed to come out and note that the contract had not been finalized which perfectly fits the bishop sycamore mo and that quote i just read has already been deleted but either way bishop sycamore is scheduled to play against life christians academy on november 9th you might begin part two of the dock in another year or so or maybe they'll turn this around into an actual success story i'll keep an eye out for if this game is actually played and if it is played what actually happens but either way bro the saga continues i'll catch y'all in the next one man i'm out bro peace